This is where the Earth Shrine is. Um, it's actually pretty easy to figure out because the Earth is actually shaking when you get there, so... And even though uh, there is a cutscene going here, um, there is one spot where you actually have to react at pretty quick too, so... Actually, it's not that fast, but, uh, you kind of don't think that, uh, a life or death situation would, uh, pop up during a cutscene like this, but... Alright, up here. Watch for the exclamation point, uh, above Zidane's head. Yeah, if you don't jump there, uh, you get squished. And I think you actually die. So, that would have really sucked because I haven't uh, saved in quite a while, so I don't want to have to go through Ibsen's castle again. At least not all the way through, so. Don't worry about anybody else, just her. Surprised she didn't sneeze. Now, uh, all the boss battles that are coming up, we only have to do the one here versus the Earth Guardian, so. Just want to make sure that there's nothing else around. Well, why don't you pull it out? Now with Sedane and Kina, you could put, you could have put on a reflect if you wanted to, but uh, you really don't have to, considering that this boss really isn't that tough to beat. So and the reason I wanted to, uh, to go with uh, guy gears over something else like uh, I don't know, like coral rings or whatever it was. Uh, Basically, because uh, once he casts uh, Earthshake, um, you you should be doing it pretty fine. And if you have White Wind, um, you might want to also consider using that uh, if you start to get low on HP with Sedane. So. Unfortunately, I could not find um, another Gaia gear, and I really did want to go all the way back to Degaro to pick one up, so... I just put Auto Float on uh, with Kita there, that, that should be fine, so... Because as I was saying, uh, this boss really isn't that difficult. And, oh, by the way, you're going to be running into quite a few bosses coming up in the next area, which are pretty tough. So. In fact, um, I might want to level up a little more um, 
with the actual characters that I'm going to be using. I shouldn't have to or anything, but uh, might as well do it for safety's sake. That makes uh, really no sense to me because uh, VV doesn't have any magic that's uh, strong against air, so... So, Kucha told me. Bring it on. Yeah, I, I don't really fear you, so. I think this guy only has two things to steal, so... And, although he looks like floating death, I think uh, he's considered a stone enemy, so... Okay, the Avenger. I think, uh... I think that's, uh... A claw for Amaranth, so... Just plain luck, he'll, uh, stick with, uh, actual magic attacks instead of physical ones. Well... At least, uh... PC has uh, auto regain on, so uh, can't remember if it's holy or defenseless that uh, he's weak against. Oh, it looks like defenseless. Well, that should uh, make things a little easier. Eventually, he should uh, do an Earth Shake spell, so. And, uh, see if he's weak to both of them. Oh, yeah. Well, this is uh, probably why you want Thousand Needles, so. Unfortunately, we can't uh, eat this guy, so... Yeah. Although, uh, Thousand Needles only does a thousand damage, huh? He's still, uh, good with the in there. I'm wondering if I should go with that uh, white wind or... Because I don't know if, uh... Sustain is going to survive another, uh... Another magic spell. Ooh. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go with the white wind. Oh, maybe not. I was thinking I would have to go the white wind, but Let's try aqua breath. 
I really don't think that uh, Aquabath is gonna really do anything to him. I might as well give it a try. Ooh, that was pretty good. <laughs> well, when the kids that are doing that from now on. <laughs> 